Lesson 3, Writing Task 2, Main Body Paragraphs. In this lesson, I'm going to look at how to write a good main body paragraph for Writing Task 2. In our four-paragraph essay, we're going to write two main body paragraphs, each of which is about five sentences long and around 90 to 100 words. So in total, the two main body paragraphs together add up to around 200 words which is why we call them the main body paragraphs. They are the main part of your essay. 200 out of the 250 words or more that you write. In this lesson, I'll show you two easy ways, two easy methods for writing main body paragraphs. And we'll also look at the importance of good ideas, good vocabulary, and planning. You can't write these main body paragraphs if you haven't done a plan beforehand. How to write a main paragraph. I'm going to suggest that we work on two types of main body paragraph for writing task two. The first type I call firstly, secondly, finally and the second type I call idea, explain, example. We can use firstly, secondly, finally when we have more than one idea. This type of paragraph is perfect for advantages, disadvantages, problems, solutions. Any type of question where we have more than one idea or we need to give more than one idea. On the other hand, if we only have one idea for that paragraph, we have to explain it in more detail. In this case, I would use the second type, idea, explain, example. This is perfect when you have one idea, one reason, one opinion, you're going to have to explain it a lot more than you would do if you had two or three ideas. Let's look at the first of these two paragraph structure types, the firstly, secondly, finally structure. We'll use a question from last week's lesson about introductions. Here's the question again. Some people believe that unpaid community service should be a compulsory part of high school programs. To what extent do you agree or disagree? We're just going to write one paragraph and we're going to say that we disagree with this compulsory idea. We don't think students should be forced to do community service. I asked some of my students here in Manchester to do a three minute plan for this one paragraph disagreeing. Here are some of the ideas they gave me. One idea was the school timetable is already full, so there's no time for community service. Another idea, students' work in other subjects would be affected. And another, teenagers might not want to do it. I added the words reluctant and no motivation to give my students a couple of bits of good vocabulary. Looking at those ideas, we decided that they are three separate ideas so on the beginning of this we put we disagree for several reasons. Now hopefully you can see that this is a perfect plan for a firstly, secondly, finally paragraph. You plan the ideas first, then you look at what you've got and you decide whether is it just one idea that I'm developing or do I have two ideas or three. In this case we realized we had three clear ideas so we could definitely do a firstly, secondly, finally paragraph. I'll now show you how I take a plan, the basic ideas, and make it into a five sentence paragraph. Here's the plan again, and we'll start with point one at the top. Disagree for several reasons. Writing that as a sentence, I put, there are several reasons why I would argue against having compulsory community service for secondary school students. After that, we go on to the first point. This is going to be my firstly point. The school timetable is full. I wrote, firstly, the school curriculum is already full with important academic subjects such as maths, science and languages. Notice I made a few small changes and added things. I used curriculum instead of timetable because it's maybe a less common word, might impress the examiner and I added some example subjects. As we've only got four points in this plan, I'm going to add an example at this point to support what I'm saying. 
and every question in writing task 2 tells you that you can use your own experience in your examples. Here's an example from my own experience to support this point. For example, I remember having an extremely busy timetable when I was at high school and it would not have been possible to add to it. That's three sentences done. Next comes our second point about students' work in other subjects would be affected. We'll start with secondly. Secondly, students' performance in other subjects would be affected if valuable study time were taken by charity work or neighbourhood improvement schemes. Notice again, if I can think of a better word, sometimes I change one or two things from the plan. Instead of students' work, students' performance. And then I've added the if part, if valuable study time were taken by and examples of the community work, charity work or neighbourhood improvement schemes, I thought could be examples showing what this community service is. The last sentence will be our final point that teenagers might not want to do this. Finally, I believe that teenagers would be reluctant to take part in any programme of obl obligatory work and this could lead to poor motivation and even bad behaviour. And that's my paragraph finished. We've done 111 words in that paragraph and it's much better than it might seem. It might seem simple but it's a really, really good high level paragraph. Quickly summarising what we did. Five sentences. The main four sentences are our topic sentence, our first, second and final points. And to make it up to five sentences, we can add some more information, explain more, or as I did, add an example. And I usually prefer to put this next to the first point or after the first point to explain it a bit more. A couple of things to remember, very important. Linking words do not help your vocabulary score. People often say to me, firstly, secondly, secondly finally is very simple. Can we really get a high score with this? The answer is yes, because firstly, secondly and finally are not considered vocabulary. They are just linking and you don't need to link in a complex way. That will not help your score. Linking just needs to be clear and do the job of making your ideas easy to follow. If linking words are not part of your vocabulary score, then what is the examiner looking for? The answer is examiners want to see topic vocabulary. Let's look at the difference between linking words and topic vocabulary. Linking words, first of all. The linking words I used here were firstly, for example, secondly, finally. Of course, there are other linking words, but they're not considered more difficult. If you use first and foremost instead of firstly, it's not going to improve your score. It's not vocabulary, it's just linking. Compare that with topic vocabulary. I'm going to highlight in red all of the words and phrases that the examiner would like and be impressed by. Compulsory community service, school curriculum, academic subjects, extremely busy timetable, students performance, valuable study time, charity work or neighborhood improvement schemes, reluctant, obligatory work, poor motivation. There's a huge difference between those words which can only be used for this topic and the easy linking words that anybody can use and you can use in any topic. What do you think the examiner really values? Of course they value the topic vocabulary. It's much more difficult to have good vocabulary in your head for a variety of different topics. Anybody can learn linking words and organizing phrases. They are not difficult. You'll find an attached worksheet next to this lesson on my website. Please read the worksheet for more advice about linking words and topic vocabulary. Now let's move on to the second type of main body paragraph structure, the idea, explain, example method. And I'll show you how I would write a five sentence paragraph in this way. We'll use the same question from before, this question about community service, 
and this time I asked my students to brainstorm and do a three minute plan saying that although we disagree with this compulsory idea we do think that a voluntary community service program could be good for students so we think if they can choose to do it it would be a good idea here are the ideas that my students had voluntary not compulsory community service is positive students more motivated if they can choose gain work experience self-confidence skills good for CVs career university admissions employers remember when you finish your plan look at the ideas you've got and think to yourself is this three separate points or maybe just one point explained in detail I think that this particular plan is really about one point the main point voluntary community service is positive and explaining why mostly about work and career experience issues if we take this plan and write a paragraph with it we'll start of course with the first point voluntary community service is positive this will be our topic sentence on the other hand the opportunity to do voluntary community service could be extremely positive for high school students I've used on the other hand because this paragraph will follow from the other paragraph that we wrote I've added opportunity I've added extremely positive next we need to explain why this is the explaining part why is voluntary community service a good idea well voluntary community service we said would make students more motivated by making these programs optional schools would ensure that only motivated students took part we've explained why they need to be voluntary these programs now let's explain what the positives are for the student We'll start with gain work experience self-confidence and skills these young people would gain valuable experience in an adult working environment which could help but to build their self-confidence and enhance their skills what's the result of this if they have this work experience why is that positive next point it'll be good for their CVs career etc we wrote having such experience and skills on their CVs could greatly improve school leavers career prospects again we're explaining every time in more detail why is it positive finally let's finish with an example about the part in the plan about university admissions or employers for example a period of voluntary work experience might impress a university admissions officer or a future employer as you can see we built that paragraph five sentences again but this time topic sentence lots of explaining we explained why voluntary why it's positive why it helps their careers what will happen in the future and we gave an example to summarize the idea explain example paragraph structure again try to write five sentences your main three sentences will be the idea explanation and the example of course we need more than that so the second part explain you're going to try to do two or three sentences there so you're going to explain in much more detail because we only have one idea another thing to remember is that the example can change position you can put the example right near the beginning and then explain it if you want it doesn't matter too much about the order of explaining and giving examples remember linking words do not help your vocabulary score and examiners want to see topic vo vocabulary let's look at both in the paragraph we've just seen linking words first of all on the other hand these programs these young people their such experience and skills for example you might be surprised that I'm highlighting some linking words that you wouldn't have expected but words like these there such this those are definitely linking words if we look at these programs these programs refers to 
the voluntary community service mentioned in the sentence before. So it's connecting those two sentences. These young people links to the motivated students mentioned in the sentence before. There is the young people. Such experience and skills is referring to the valuable experience and skills mentioned in the sentence before. So all of those are connecting sentences and holding the paragraphs together. That is good linking. Topic vocabulary now. I'm going to highlight in red all the good topic vocabulary. And remember, this is the most important thing and what gives you a good score. Opportunity, voluntary community service, programs optional, ensure that only motivated students took part, gain valuable experience, adult working environment, build their self-confidence, enhance their skills, school leavers, career prospects, impress a university admissions officer or a future employer. That's the kind of topic vocabulary that the examiner is looking for and that's the key to a high score. Read the worksheet attached to this lesson for more advice about linking words and topic vocabulary. To summarize this lesson, main body paragraphs are the most important part of your essay. You need to plan them well before you start writing. You're going to write about 100 words for each of the two main body paragraphs, and that's usually around five sentences. They're going to be full of, hopefully, if you've planned them well, good ideas, good vocabulary, and they're going to be well structured if you follow the two easy methods that I've suggested in this lesson. In the next lesson, lesson four, we'll look at conclusions for writing task two.